reading from Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Okay, how many were singing during that verse? If, if you remember, there's a song from the 60s, to everything there is a season. Okay. I think it was the birds, maybe. Okay. But they added a word that is not in the scriptures. And what word is that? To everything. Turn. turn. Did you hear turn in here anywhere? No. But yet, somehow, thanks to that group, we associate Ecclesiastes 3 with turn, turn, turn. To everything there is a season. The constant beat of turn, turn, turn is life. And the theme for our Lenten series is all about change. Change is a constant. Change is a constant. That seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? When change happens, our lives are in flux. Something new is happening. And in fact, this chapter is only assigned to New Year's Day every year in the lectionary. That's the only time we hear it. Something new is happening. Think of all the changes that have happened in your life. Think of all the changes that will happen. Moving to a new home, maybe. Starting a new school year. A new job or finishing. Beginning a relationship or ending one. Adding a person to the household or losing one. It makes me just tired thinking about it. <laughs> Longing for stability and the expected and the familiar and the known when we have change, we are thrust into the unknown, the uncontrollable, the unsure, and the unpredictable, whether by circumstance or by our own choices. Turn, turn, turn. That constant beat is also found in nature. Seasons morphing from one to the other, especially we notice that in this part of North America, turning from winter into spring into summer, although this week nature seems to be backpedaling a little bit. <laughs> Enjoy the warmth today as you can. But we live in hope. Turn in nature. Seeds change to plants and trees, and plants and trees grow and produce fruit. But it doesn't happen overnight. That change takes time. Turn, turn, turn. That constant beat is also in the kingdom of God. Not stagnant, but alive and moving and growing. Jesus teaches in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13. What is the kingdom of God like? And to what should I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in the garden. It grew and became a tree and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again, Jesus said, to what should I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour 
until all of it was leavened. God's kingdom is ever evolving and expanding and inviting. And in God's kingdom, life is changed and transformed. To everything there is a season, turn, turn, turn. That constant beat is also in Lent. A season to turn from ways that are harmful to ourselves and others. And a reminder of our constant turning each and every day from sin and towards God. A time to recommit, a time to remember, a time to come together at God's table, turning from our constant busyness to rest in God. Lent can also be a time for turning from apathy and complacency to engagement and excitement. So just as the mustard seed grows into a tree or yeast turns into flour, we too are called to be agents, agents of change in the constantly turning kingdom of God. Change is constant. And at the same time, while constant change is inevitable, as Christians, we also know God's steadfast love to be unchanging. We know and we trust that God is present with us through every change in our lives. Like we sung in the first verse of hymn 757, all my hope on God is founded. Who will all my trust renew? Who through change and chance will guide me? Only good and only true. Who through change and chance will guide me? And shown to us by God's self on the cross, we know that God's forgiveness extends to us even when we aren't the seeds of change and even when we don't follow through with our intended Lenten disciplines. God's forgiveness extends to us when we grow weary and impatient with others and when we blow our tops. And as followers of Jesus Christ, we know that no matter what we say or do, or what we don't do or don't say, we know that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And on this, our hope is founded. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.